Uh, welcome back friends. Uh, we are going to continue with our topic of states of matter and today we are going uh, to continue with the liquid state. We have already discussed there are some of the few aspects and this is just like a repetition before we are going to start discussing about the components of a solution. Now we are saying that a solution can be prepared in one of the following ways. Uh, first is by mixing a solid solute or solvent. Uh, by mixing a solid solute and a solvent. That means we are taking a solute, maybe a salt, then we are mixing a solvent. And more especially here, we are talking of water. And for example, here is salt and water. So it is, it is salty solution. And then a solution can be prepared even by mixing two different liquids. Two different liquids. That is, uh, for example, ethanol and the water to form aqueous solution. And that's why we will study uh, something called the components uh, two component solution that means uh, we have uh, made the solution by mixing the two liquids now uh, What you are saying is that the two component of liquid system uh, In the two components of liquid system that means uh, this is the solution composed of um, two liquids a solution composed of two liquids for example if we are mixing maybe ethanol and water a solution is composed of two liquids and such kind of solution uh, can either be completely miscible, can be partially miscible or immiscible liquids. We already discussed this, but is, this is just like a, a repetition. Now, we are saying that a completely immiscible liquid are the homogeneous liquids in which they are component tend to mix completely so that there is no formation of layers between the liquids. And we said that this is uh, because the Intermolecular forces in the liquids, they are approximately equal. Thus, the intermolecular force of attraction in the liquids is equal to the intermolecular force of attraction in the solution. And then, the second type is the partial or partially miscible liquids. They are homogeneous liquids in which their components tend to mix slightly. So, the components of uh, partially miscible liquids, they are mixing slightly, but not completely as how it is in the uh, miscible liquids and immiscible liquids are homogeneous liquids in which their component do not mix at all so that they uh, they form layers between the two liquids in the solution and these immiscible liquids it is because of the difference in the uh, intermolecular force of attraction between the uh, molecules so one thing you need to know is that um, the difference in the intermolecular force of attraction or the similarity in the intermolecular force of attraction is the major factor which determine which determine the which determine the extent of mixing of these uh, components. So from there, now we are saying that liquids are of two types. We have the volatile and the non-volatile. When we are talking of a volatile liquid, a volatile liquid is the liquid which can vaporize easier. So they are liquids with high vapor pressure and a low boiling point. We discuss uh, the, we already discussed the concept of vapor pressure in gases. But we discuss also here because when we are heating liquid the molecules of the liquid they tend to escape and they form vapor so the pressure exerted by that vapor is what you call the vapor pressure kwa kama tunachemsha maji kwenye sufuria tukae ile sufuria tumeifunika pale kuna koko na vapor na ndio maana ukifunua tu mfuniko au kama unapikia pressure kuka unakuta kuna koko na vapor fulani natoka juu na inatoka kwa pressure that is because we have the vapor pressure ambayo imetokana na accumulation of molecules ambazo zimetokana na evaporation of liquid so volatile liquids they have higher vapor pressure and low boiling point that means ukiboil tu kidogo inakuwa na vapor nyingi lakini non volatile liquids are liquids with low vapor pressure and high boiling point so non volatile does not mean that they do not evaporate they evaporate but at very high temperature for example if we have petrol and water Petroli ukifungua tu ina evaporate nyewe. So we can name petroli as the volatile liquid. Where water we can name as non-volatile kwa sabu gani. Sio kwamba iwezi ka evaporate. At room temperature evaporate. Lakini uki heat ina evaporate. Kwa na tunawona mala nyingi tu water na evaporate. But water can be regarded as non-volatile because a petroli hata at room temperature na evaporate. Where water does not evaporate. Now let's go to the concept of vapor pressure. What we are saying that vapor pressure of a substance is the pressure exerted by a volatile component of a substance formed over the surface surface at a given temperature. 
So is the pressure exerted by a volatile component of a substance or a volatile component of solution formed over the surface at given temperature. So now let's go uh, to discuss this in detail because we will deal with it uh, in our discussion. So vapor pressure of a liquid is the pressure exerted by the volatile component of liquid formed over its surface at a given temperature. Pressure exerted by volatile component of liquid formed over its surface at a given temperature. So as we heat, kama ni wosema tukio tuna heat water, tunako tuna vapor pale juu. And that vapor tend to exert a certain pressure. That partial pressure of vapor, we call it the vapor pressure. So every liquid at a certain temperature has its own vapor pressure. The vapor pressure is just the pressure exerted by vapor above the corresponding liquid at a given temperature. So simply ni hivyo ni pressure ambayo inakuwa exerted by nini? By ile vapor. Kamba ile vapor ina pressure ngapi? Ile vapor ina pressure ngapi? So when the temperature is increased, the number of vapor particles and their velocity also increase. And eventually the vapor pressure is said to increase with an increase in temperature. Kwa vapor pressure always ina increase with the temperature. Kwa nini? Sabi ni kumbia kumbia vapor pressure ina sabisho wa nini? Number of particles present above the liquid. If vapor pressure, it is due to the number of particles present above the liquid. Now at the same time, remember, nime kumbia kumbia na vizidi kuhiti, number of particles ina increase. That means, at the number of particles increase, at the end of the day, will end up with the uh, solution having the higher vapor pressure. Kwa sabu gani? to increase the number of particles in atonjo kwamba pressure is that proportional to the number of moles now the vapor pressure of a substance or liquid is temperature dependent this is very important to understand it is temperature dependent now uh, let's see a uh, vapor pressure is saturated vapor pressure tuangalie concept ya saturated vapor pressure saturated vapor pressure ni kitu gani when a liquid is tepid in a closed container, liquid particles or molecules will appear to escape to the upper part of the container above the surface of liquid at the vapor at a given temperature. Kwa kama tukio tunai heat, tunai heat liquid flani. Liquid particles tako zinaenda juu. Kama nini kama vapor, zina evaporate. Asa, in a closed container, manake kama tumefunga ere container, zile particles zitakaa pale juu hasa toka nje zitakaa pale juu kwenye ile space now the vapor will collide with the wall of the upper part of the container and ko hiyo vapor itakuwa inafanya collision particles of vapor will zakuwa zinafanya collision na na ile wall ya upper part of the container and where it will condense to liquid again reversible process of evaporation Ko inaweza ika, ika, ika evaporate um, na ikisha evaporate inawena inafanya collision. Inafanya collision. Inafanya collision. Ii lead ni kama mfuniko lea juu. Ko kama kuna upper part ya container ambayo kujua ya liquid na mfuniko. Collision dona kwenye tokea kuri. Na badai inawezo kukondense kule kwenye, kwenye, kwenye mfuniko. Ikaanza kudondoka tena. Adhani kama utu umeshawa ipika labda maalage nyumbani. Unaweza kuwa una unazi unazijua hizi phenomena. Kwa ukipika malage kama maji yako kidogo, unapochemsha ile malage unakuta au mboga yoyote either malage nyama mboga yoyote. Kwa water ni kweli malage sio solution lakini because there is water water in evaporate na kuja juu. But later ukifunua ile mfuniko unakuta nini? Uh, kuna drops kule chini ya mfuniko. Chini ya mfuniko kuna drops it is because of the condensation of water. So the process is reversible iki condense kule inadondokea tena ndani kwenye water inafanyiwa tena process ile ya evaporation now what you are saying ni kwamba at the beginning of evaporation process there is no vapor to condense and thus the rate of evaporation of a liquid is greater than the, the rate of condensation of vapor liquid at the initial stage of evaporation kwa evaporation na bwanza tunako tuna nini evaporation kubwa kwa sababu gani Hakuna vapor kule juu ambayo inaweza condense. Kwa uh, the rate of evaporation tunavyokuanza na kuwa ni kubwa. Uh, these points are very important to remember them tunavyo discuss concept ya nini? Ya saturation. Lakini more vapor above the surface of the liquid means more vapor pressure. 
at the initial stage of evaporation tend to increase. Kwa hiyo maana yake tunavyokuwa tunazidi kuongeza vapor, tunakuwa tuna increase nini? Vapor pressure. The process of evaporation will increase until the rate of evaporation of the liquid is equal to the rate of condensation of vapor. Rate of evaporation is equal to the rate of condensation. At this point of physical process, liquid ku change kwenda vapor is equal to vapor ku change kwenda kwenye liquid is said to be at equilibrium. So the physical equilibrium of liquid kwenda kwenye vapor na vapor kwenda kwenye liquid inakuwa reached. So at this point nini tunakisema ni kwamba at this point of equilibrium the pressure of vapor is said to be saturated vapor pressure saturated vapor pressure au kwa jina nyingine ni equilibrium vapor pressure so what we explained in evaporation is like this when we are heating this liquid particles of the liquid they tend to evaporate to above if the container is not closed it means the particles will escape and there is no there will be no uh, accumulation of the particles and hence we can't reach the saturated vapor pressure in an open container but if the container is closed then the particles will escape to above but later these particles they will accumulate in this space and some of them they will condense on the lid and then after condensation if the rate of evaporation has been balanced with the rate of condensation of the liquids that means we have reached a saturation point and we call it the the vapor pressure now of the liquid here when the uh, rate of evaporation is equal to the rate of condensation that means the vapor pressure will remain constant will remain constant will not increase will not decrease and we call it the rate uh, we call it the saturated vapor pressure saturated vapor pressure so here is just the vapor pressure generated uh, the container is open but here the vapor pressure it is closed so by definition by definition saturated vapor pressure is the pressure to which vapor and its liquid are in dynamic equilibrium and the pressure your definition is very important kwa sababu wana uliza and the pressure and the pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure or saturated vapor pressure is the pressure of vapor in equilibrium with excess liquid at a given temperature in equilibrium with excess liquid at a ko uta uta chagua either useme the pressure of vapor in equilibrium with excess liquid at a given temperature or the pressure in which liquid is in equilibrium with it, uh with its vapor component and the pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure but this is the best kwa sababu gani tunapokuwa tuna saturated vapor pressure lazima kwenye hii container yetu tunayoiona hapa kwenye hii container ili iwe saturated vapor pressure lazima pressure hii hapa iwe sawa sana nani atmospheric yani pressure huko nje sana ya huko ndani ndio maana unatakiwa uelewe kitu kwamba tunafunika kwa nini huwa tunafunika vitu kwa nini tunafunika vitu tunafunika vitu ili vichemke haraka lakini kwa nini kichemke haraka yani nini kinachofanya tukifunika kichemke haraka it is because of the increase in the vapor pressure tuki increase the vapor pressure katika saturation ikawa sawa na atmospheric ili liquid inachemka kwa haraka sana lakini kama tusipo increase vapor pressure hapa pressure hapa ikawa sawa sana atmospheric takachokifanya ni kwamba pressure hapa itakuwa inapungua kwa sababu molecules hapa zitakuwa zina escape ziki escape pressure hapa itakuwa ndogo so pressure huko itakuwa inaonekana kama kubwa kuliko hapa molecules zitakuwa zinaendelea ku escape kuja hapa zikija hapa zinaondoka nje na ili liquid itapata shida sana kuchemka kwa hiyo ndio maana lazima unajua kwamba it is very important to understand this concept na hii ndio concept ambayo inakuja kuleta difference kwamba ukichemsha maji eneo la mlima na ukachemsha maji eneo la bondeni yani depending on the meters from the ocean level zinatofautiana muda wa kuboil it is because of this concept of vapor pressure so uh, what you are saying tumesha discuss about the concept of vapor pressure na tumesha discuss about the concept of saturated vapor pressure naomba nishie hapa na kwenye kipindi kinachofuata and about the concept of vapor pressure and boiling point a vapor pressure and boiling point so don't forget to subscribe and to share the link for this video to your fellow students we are continuing teaching chemistry biology physics and mathematics so um, just stay with us uh, we are teaching all level we are teaching a level 
for free 100 percent if you need these notes you may contact me and you may join my telegram group for more discussions and for uh clarification you may comment or you may text me in my numbers there in description below thank you everybody don't forget to subscribe my channel and to share the link of this video later i wish you nice studies